in my rush to make a quick video for you guys, I forgot one thing I wanted to show you. And this is because we're doing a documentary. We want to try and use some um, something that in iMovie they call Ken Burns effect. Um, they don't call it that in the video. So I just grabbed a, a picture image and I double click on it. And now when I go up here, you can give it a title if you want. I generally don't. I didn't do that. That's up to you. Um, you need to see how it visually looks. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to animation. And when I click on that, this is how it starts. Now, if I want to get closer, I'm going to grab the scale bar and I'm going to push it to the right. And if I want to move it, maybe I don't want that bar. I get my four arrows and I click down and I can start moving it. And if I just want to focus in when it starts, maybe I want it on these three gentlemen. And then when I stop, I'm going to click end. This is where they have it ending. If I want it to be a little tighter than that, I can move it in a little bit, or if I want it really far back out, I can do that. You have the option. This is the Ken Burns effect. And then I hit Done Editing, and then you will see when I click Video, what it looks like if it moves out. Now I can do this the opposite effect. I'll drop one more clip in here. And we'll double click it. And again, Start. So I clicked the wrong one. Done editing. And shrink that one back. Grabbing this one. Here's the start. Now the last time I went, I went uh, small to start. And I'll move this a little bit over here. Um, so rather than do that, I'm going to start wide. I'm going to go end to end. Ignore the fact that my credits are rolling over that. And I just want to end it with this one gentleman right there. So now when I get done editing, I come back here and you watch it. You see it pulls in. So that's kind of how you can get those effects. And you can move them off center so it moves left to right. It's just up to you. So play with that. See how it works. Um, you're going to want to try and vary them so that it's not always the same move in or out. Um, so try and use a variation of that. And that's just another trick to help make your videos look a little better. Thank you.